What's happening guys? As promised this video is going to be a tutorial about how I take corners. I have quite a bit of success with them. Whipping it into that near post. It's a bit of a contradiction to the um, one that's mentioned by a lot of YouTubers that pass it short and cross it back post. So as you can see, all the corners are similar. Sometimes they have different outcomes at keeper errors. I wouldn't say it's a glitch because based on real life, a whipped in ball like that is going to be hard to defend and little touches and that can lead it to a goal. So I'm showing it again there. You can even score sometimes with the corner taker. of it. had that feeling. So how does it To me, it's done in about three stages. You've got the first stage, which is holding the left thumbstick and dragging that marker into the near post. Second stage is you're holding down the square to get maximum power. And obviously the third stage is to press shoot to get the header to score. So let's break it down then of what you need to press and when you need to press it. Now you've got to combine two things. One is to move the left thumbstick and hold that down to get the marker into the near post. Once it's there, you can let go. But at the same time, you've got to be holding down square to get full power and it's driven in. That's what makes it easier for the striker to get across the defenders, get that flick on. This one actually results in an own goal bouncing off the post, off the keeper and in. So again, this is from a different angle. Drag that into that near post area. Strikes going to make a move. It's actually defendable, not going to lie. The people have defended it, but this is from the resulting corner again, dragging it across, near post flick on, and the keeper can't deal with it. You know, get used to the timings, don't hold it too long or the ball just goes straight off the pitch. Give it a practice. I hope this helps you out, everyone. Take care, guys. See you soon.